Our next guest is a wife, mother, and best-selling author. Please welcome the lovely Catherine Schwarzenegger. Yeah. <laughs> Catherine, yeah. so good to see you. Thank I was just you. telling Kit how I, I've known Catherine for a long time. Love her and her family. It's so awesome to see you creating your own family. Right now, which are with uh, uh, two pretty much back to back. Are they Irish twins? No, they're not Irish twins. Oh my gosh, definitely not Irish twins. We have a little bit of cushion room in there, but yeah. Two girls, wild sisters, amazing, and the same age difference as Christina, my sister, and I. So that's super special. We were talking before we went on because I don't have a sister, but I have two daughters, and I marvel at their relationship. Mm -hmm. Is that clearly what made you want to write this book? Your two are still so little. Yeah. Are you hoping they're going to have the friendship that you have with your sister? Definitely. I mean, I wrote this book based off, off the dynamic between my sister and I, and just like that special bond in that relationship. And I actually mm. finished writing the book before I was even pregnant with my second. Really? So it was mm. like a beautiful surprise that I have two girls, sisters in, in them, and then have my sister, Christina, which is the dynamic that this book is based after. The, I got to imagine it reminds you of your own childhood and you're still totally. pu pulling from memories back yeah. when you were a kid, right? I mean, even outfits, because my mom literally saved everything. Like even my daughter this morning, she picked out her outfit, she picked out my old dress, and then I have the exact same one ready love, for Ellie's. Moms love to oh. save my mom too. I don't know where they keep, yeah. like they're hoarders. Oh, yeah. they we've save, got buckets and our bet, you know, I got yes. the But it's like, it worked out so, I'm so grateful that she saved it now, especially because I have right. two girls, because I can literally just recreate all of the matching moments that my mom did with Christina and I. And That's great. It's so special. I'm thinking of your mom, the great Maria Shriver. Like, what is it like for her to see you now as a mom of two little girls. Like that has to be the neatest thing for her. I mean, I definitely call her a hundred times a day yeah. asking her for advice on pretty much everything mm. because she just did such a great job with the four of us being so close to each other from when we were little, even now as adults. And I'm so grateful and it's definitely like, Having all the memory of those childhood moments is what inspired this book because I would have moments where I was sitting with my first daughter, Lila, and I would sit with her in the rocking chair and I would just start thinking about all of these moments from being a child, having all this fun with my sister, and just really wanting to write something that was a tribute to that dynamic and all those special memories, which was like so surprising as a new mom to yeah. just have all, I did not expect that at all. Yeah. So. It was a fun, pleasant oh, surprise. Oh, I love that. I bet she's an incredible grandma, too. And so I remember, best. Catherine, too, you were always um, very passionate about animals, too, yeah. and a big advocate, which I'm sure you still are. Yes, of course. Yeah, I mean, to see my daughters with animals now is, I mean, we were at my mom's last night, and both of the girls are, like, in love with Maverick. And Wait, who's we, Maverick? My dog, Maverick. Oh, your dog, yeah. Maverick. And, and then to see my girls with, you know, my horse and also at my dad's house he has like an array of animals himself there which none of none of them he got for my daughters i'll clarify <laughs> oh, he's got that. miniature horses but he has his own like little zoo there so it's super fun they're both incredible grandparents and I'm yeah lucky. wait your dad because i saw the miniature horse but didn't didn't he have a donkey like a tiny donkey I mean, he still has one wait i love awesome. the don what's the donkey's name lulu lulu yeah that's i awesome. love lulu I the know. donkey well, she's that's the like star. the coolest grandparents to go over there I and know. they're just and like <laughs> my dad with all his animals my mom would just like constantly walk doing everything I brought her with me to New York last week and she just like and my sister they both took the girls around the entire day there my family is so incredible with my girls and just so hands-on and then of course to see my sister with both my girls and That's the similarities oh. between my two girls and Christina and I and how we were when we were little and how we are now is just it's amazing what do your girls mm. call your parents Mama G and Opa. Mama G and Opa. <laughs> so yes. they're, call, they're calling Arnold Opa? Yeah. <laughs> was that his request? Yeah, just kind of like, I mean, it's it's grandpa in German, so it just yeah. like was very, well, that makes, yeah, that makes sense. very just like happened. And then my mom made up Mama G for herself. And I like Mama, Mama G. Mama G's kind of yeah, cool. I know. Did your sister get a nickname chic. as the great auntie? No, she just calls her auntie. 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 There you go. auntie. auntie. That's yeah, good. Everything. Yeah. Uh, life is so good for you. I love that you two go so far back. And yeah. I just know from you being on the show, and I was like, I haven't seen you, I thought, since your second daughter, but I think. I think it was my, because I had my first daughter in like the very thick of COVID. So I like literally haven't been back doing anything. And I'm just really happy to be back here and talking about like a subject that's so important to me and that I'm so excited about. Did you always it. want kids? Did you always yes, see this in your future? Sure. I mean, yeah. like I was just watch, I, looking at pictures the other day of, me bringing my youngest brother Christopher to school for show and tell. Like I was just obsessed <laughs> with him as a baby. That's funny. I know. He's I've a been pet. Like, it's literally like <laughs> me sitting with him laying on my lap. That's but I just like always was obsessed with kids. Always obsessed with my youngest brother and and of course my sister and, and my other brother Patrick. But just like love that whole. I love that. Yeah. Well, you knew you saw kids in your future, but did you see your husband back in the day? <laughs> you know what we're going to roll. We have this clip from 2017. Look how cute Catherine is.
Chris Pratt, Chris Hemsworth, or Chris Evans? Chris Evans. Actually, Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt's been looking good lately, so <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Ooh, oh, you pivoted yeah. quick. That was a quick pivot right it was there. A very quick pivot. Yeah, it worked so out like, well, right? You manifested it essentially, I think. I huh? know, manifested that, manifested two girls. Two there girls. you go. Just all connected. So, um, so happy for you guys. Thank what you. is Chris like as a girl dad? The best. I mean, he came downstairs yesterday and had all his nails were painted. <laughs> I got my daughter Lila a makeup kit, so she's very into that and putting that on absolutely everybody. He's so patient. We'll sit with them both of the girls and just has a great time and then obviously is an amazing dad to my stepson as yes. well. So, yeah. Full house, That's which awesome. I love. I know. Full so, house. Lots of action yeah. all the time. Keep yeah. it going. I know. Keep it going. <laughs> keeps, it, keeps you on your toes right there. Yeah, I love it. Um, before you go, Catherine, there's a little game that we want to play called <laughs> This yeah. or Pratt Baby Duty Edition. Okay? Uh, okay. So we're going to say a scenario and uh, you say if you do it or if your, your husband would do it. Okay. Hence, this or Pratt. Pratt. Clever, guys. Very um, clever. Yeah. There we go. Stay you like that, that one? No. Um, feedings. Me. Yeah. Does he do any of the late night ones? My husband, we called it the Seinfeld feeding. He did the 11 p.m. That was me We're with past the bottle. 11 p.m. Okay. Now. <laughs> okay, good. Does he do the late sleeper. night one? Uh, no, no, I do that. He's feeding. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fall asleep in the crib. In the crib. Like, I guess maybe with them in the You bed. can't fit in the crib. <laughs> that would be the biggest crib, the crib known to mankind. <laughs> it's on the game card, people. I know. Okay, how about this one? Change a dirty diaper. He'll do it. He has no problem doing any of that. But you do the majority. No, I mean, if he happens to be there when it's happening, yeah. great. We but, used to act yeah. like we didn't smell it. We'll be like, yeah, yeah. there's like nothing to see you here. Like, the, you do the, the handoff. Yeah. You got to no, do the handoff like right there. That's more like all my family members are like, oh, here, here she is. <laughs> here you go. That's to more, your yeah. yeah, no, he's who, great at that. Who sings the lullabies? He's a much better singer and also much better at doing all the character voices oh, in I the bet. book. Yeah, very entertaining oh, yeah. story time. Well, he does reading. a lot of voices, so I know. he should Wait be getting nailed in that. Wait till he gets to see the movies, like the animator. Thing. Oh, that's going to be I great. Yeah. Uh, who takes more photos of the kids? Me, for the, sure. Yeah, a thousand. hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. All, and also, my, my oldest daughter, Lila, will now take pictures of her. I go back to my phone, and it's like <laughs> of the oh, yeah. floor, her feet, exactly. like everything. And they're like, yeah, it's all so done. Yeah. I love it. Who would say yes to dessert? for breakfast me oh Ooh, sweet too and also my mother <laughs> mama More g importantly, mama g will just like load them up and she's like here it's probably her nap time right oh, about yeah. now no. i'm like thanks a lot my mom used to dip her hand in sugar and put it in their mouth and say who's your favorite grandmother i'm like you can't be doing don't that don't tell her don't that. tell her that don't and tell sweet that. Tea. they're like different people grandparents i'm like who's this person when they're <laughs> yeah. raising me right they no, just they literally like just the most fun my mom always says it's like the most fun role that she's ever had because she just plays with all of yeah. our old stuff all the old tea parties and everything but then doesn't have to like do the rest of the yeah. evening the right. back. just gives them the back. back yeah, yeah. That's my exactly dad very it. also really enjoys that he's like Few hours and then, then we send them on go. their way. Send them on the way. That's the yeah, move. That's what you got to look go. forward to. Great to see you. Congrats Thank on you everything. Yeah, congrats on the book and everything, you Catherine. On. It's yeah. great to see you. you. Mm -hmm. Be sure to pick up a copy of Catherine's book, Good Night Sister, available right now. Yeah, we'll be right back. Stay with us. Makes a great birthday gift.